We're talking about living an abundant life. What does abundance stand for? What is abundance? So abundance can be seen from so many different perspectives um, because we all have our own idea of what abundance means. But of course, there's more so the literal definition and then you just kind of influence that however you see fit, you know, however that that applies to you and whatever you're trying to do in life. That's what abundance will be. Um, but essentially, it's the status or situation of having a, a large quantity of something, you know, um, something to be profuse or it's just more than necessary. It's more than your fair share of something. It's it's like plentiful, you know, something good, very, very good um, in life in terms of either wealth or prosperity, energy, whatever the case may be. So that's why I said it. it, it definitely depends on how you look at it because you can simply be abundant in spirit you can be abundant in the way that you look you can be abundant in the way that you speak um there's just so many different ways to execute abundance it's not just one way of being same thing with like love and things like that everybody equates love differently it's the same thing with abundance because we all find joy in different things in life. We're not all thrilled by the same thing. So we're not going to all view abundance or love or anything for that matter the same way. And that's that's what makes life interesting. That's what's so great about this journey is that we don't always have to agree. Sometimes we can just agree to disagree and keep it pushing. You know what I mean? And that's what's so good about you being you versus me being me or city being city or anyone in the comments being who they are. You know what I mean? So it's just whatever like it doesn't always have to be one way all the time so never box yourself in in life i just want to preface that whatever abundance is to you you go after that you know don't feel like well my sister she's abundant because she has a lot of money okay that doesn't have to be you you can be abundant in friendships your love life whatever like just look at the blessings that you have is what i'm trying to say look at everything as a blessing don't look at things like you're missing out because you're not like you don't know how blessed you are until you really analyze how blessed you are and that's the thing we we overlook a lot of the things that we have going already like for instance you might be abundant in friendships you might have so many and i mean genuine friendships like really close bonds with people that you can depend on and they depend on you and it's an equal relationship you know whereas somebody else they don't have any friends at all so they're they're on the opposite side of that abundance, the lack of friendship, you know. So look at things for what you you have, you know. Don't look at it for what you don't have. Be appreciative until you get what you want, and that's what we have to do a lot with with everything in life. The only way that you're going to get more of something or to be more abundant is to appreciate what you already have and to take into consideration what God has given you until the time presents itself for you to get more. You know, because you can always have more. We, we we know that. We always want more. That's a, that's a natural feeling to strive for more. And you should be that way. There's nothing wrong with you wanting more out of your life. That's the only way that you're going to stay motivated. You know, that's going to keep you driven. But don't be greedy with it, you know. There's a balance to everything. You don't have to be greedy just to get more of things in your life. You know, more abundance in your life. Um like I said, the opposite of abundance will be a shortage, you know, to lack, to not have anything, to not have, um, you know, especially things you desire, you know, that's the lack of abundance. Um, but even with that, you can still go from nothing to something. Something is always better than nothing. Um, and that's what we have to really take into consideration. It's not that we don't have anything going. It's just that we don't have what we desire necessarily so it feels like nothing you know which is bad because it shouldn't feel like nothing because it's literally something you know what i mean like, at least you have something going um but it's all about your perspective you got to change your perspective with everything in life you can't just look at life with this one one track mind you know this this one scope this one form of a lens like rose colored glasses all the time you can't be like that either you got to be realistic you can't be too optimistic about everything you have to be uh, not not optimistic sorry too positive about everything you have to practice optimism which is a balance of you know taking the bad with the good 
You know what I mean? So everything has a balance so that you can be more abundant because the shortage of abundance comes from negativity. The shortage of abundance comes from lack of a drive, lack of inspiration, lack of motivation, just not wanting to do anything and not not having what you want. So you just maximize on that rather than going to get it. You know what I mean? You settle for that instead of going after it and saying, you know what? I'm going to take this time out and I'm really going to work hard for what I want so that I can be more abundant. I'm getting blown now. Blown now. I'm in my zone now. Um, so understand that there are different forms. Like I said, there's inner or spiritual abundance, um, which I, I, I really like this form of abundance because I feel like when you're rich in your mind and your spirit, everything else comes easily. You know, because once you're rich in your spirit, you are the richest person on, on planet Earth to me because nobody can take your spirit away from you. They may be able to take your financial status away from you. They might be able to take your relationships away from you, but they cannot take your spirit. That is a choice. You know what I mean? Those other things are subject to change based on the context. But your spirit is forever. It's ongoing. Even when your body passes on, you still have your spirit. That's the only thing you take with you. So I'm I'm more so focusing on being abundant in my spirit so that just in case whatever happens around me, I can still be functional. I can still, you know, live a fulfilled life and still see life from a positive perspective, an optimistic perspective, you know? So if I could suggest anything to you, I would recommend you focus on your spiritual abundance but that's just my preference you do whatever you want if you want to be financially stable with wealth um friendships whatever the case may be you know relationships period whatever form of abundance you're after go after it you know i don't want to ever encourage anybody not to do that you know do whatever makes you feel good at the end of the day because it's your life you only get one so hey that's that's what you're on to then it came to you for a reason and didn't come to you by accident um, but yes, understand that there is inner or spiritual um, abundance, which is basically, you know, things like having self-confidence, um, having a calm mind, a calm spirit, being relaxed by nature and having a, a real like genuine, authentic, positive aura. You know, that's why I said I want that more so because peace of mind is priceless. You cannot put a price tag on your mindset. Oh, my God. No one can change that but you. You know what I mean? There's not an amount of money in the world that can give you the, the things that peace can give to you. You know what I mean? Like the, the way that peace feels compared to anything else on earth. I don't, I don't think I've ever found the comparison. You know what I mean? Because when you're at peace, it's just like you're in heaven. You know, especially spiritually. So it's like you just, it's untouched in my book. So that's why I said I'm going to maximize on that. And then, of course, there's the outer stage of abundance, you know, where it's the wealth and the good fortune and your daily life. You know, for instance, um, an example of outer abundance would be entrepreneurship, being a business owner, things like that, which is amazing, which is great. That is the millennial based um, form of abundance, you know, being an entrepreneur. And we're all after that. Hence what we're all doing. We're all trying to be entrepreneurs in our own way. Nobody wants to work for anybody. Let's be real about that. Nobody wants to work underneath anyone. We all want to call our own shots. We all want to have our own schedule. We all want to share our own brand, you know, to the world. We all want to showcase ourselves to the world individually. Let's just be honest. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just human nature to want to live the fullest life that you can live. And you know, it's a sure thing that if you live your life and, and showcase every aspect of yourself, especially business wise, that's going to give you a very fulfilled life because there's so many opportunities in that. You know what I mean? And opportunities equals abundance. That's all that is. You just got to look at everything as an opportunity. You know what I mean? Even if it may seem like it's out of reach, it's not. That is a mindset. If you feel like it's out of reach, then yeah, your mind and your body is going to follow suit with that. But if you tell yourself, okay, this is the road to abundance. This opportunity is something that I should really take advantage of. 
I may learn, no, I will learn a lot from it. You know, it may or may not work out, but whatever happens, I'm still going to get something out of it because I'm still going to be enriched in my mind and my spirit by this experience. That right there is an abundant way of thinking. The lack of abundance would be, oh man, I don't know if this is going to work out. I'm going to try. I'm going to see what I could do. That is not going to give you abundance. That doesn't even sound like it. That attitude, that is a defeatist attitude that is not going to get you anywhere. You cannot fully take advantage of, of an opportunity like that. Excuse me, you got tongue tied. The only way to fully take advantage of opportunities is through optimism and to see things for what they're truly worth. You know, see the worth in everything that you do. Even some small things as conversations have a lot of value. You know what I mean? Like just sharing ideas, sharing your, your personality, all of that is, is, is showcasing abundance because you're, you're enriching other people with your experience. You are an experience to be met. You know what I mean? Understand that like you yourself are the experience that people need to engage in. So that's why you have to carry yourself that way. You have to carry yourself like you're the gold mine. You're the, the mastermind in the situation. You're the one that has all the solutions. Now, everybody has a problem. How are you going to help them solve it? Live like that, man. Like, look at life as you are the answer. Instead of searching for the, like, outside sources and stuff for answers, you are the answer. And literally, you are. Because internal work gives you all the answers that you need. Everything else, I mean, it's just influence based off of your actions and your words and, and your energy. But it, it really doesn't make a difference if you look on the outside because all that is, like I said, that's not even like a sure thing. But, you know, once you sit down with yourself and you talk to yourself and you get to know yourself, you're going to figure things out. That's what I've been doing lately. Um, you know what I mean? And the more you have answers, the better off you'll be in life, you know. And I get we, we get so impatient, but you can't be so, so in a rush to get get everything you got to get things when they're due to you you know when it's your time you'll know when it's your season you'll know everybody has a season and we have multiple seasons I don't believe we just have one I feel like we have several you know what I mean but sometimes we miss out on that season okay let the next season come catch the next one you know what I mean live abundantly keep catching the the, the ones that follow you know and take full advantage of every season as they come I believe that every year is a season for us all to win I'm getting blown now. start fresh it's like god has given you a fresh slate every year now if you don't see it as that then you, you can't live abundantly if you don't see every new new year hence the word new new year as a clean slate and a way to like restart your life refresh your life hit that reset button and don't worry about what you did last year then you're not gonna walk on the road of abundance you know you're not gonna walk towards that that career that you want or you're not going to form those relationships that you desire, especially internally, that that inner relationship with yourself is the one that you have to treasure the most because only you can truly know the ins and outs of who you are. So always keep that in mind. Um, so what is the meaning of an abundant mindset or an abundant mind? Well, think of it this way. A person with an abundant spirit can see through others. You know, they can see into someone else's soul almost. You know what I mean? Like when you live, because look at it this way. When you're abundant, you're into your, your higher self. You are basically one, um, one with your higher self. You know, you become your higher self. You're at the highest state you've ever been mentally, physically, whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? And that's what we strive for. We want to engage in our higher self's vibrations because that right there is abundance, gaining access to your higher self. So when you vibrate on a high level, everything around you starts to do the same, you know? So that's why I said practice positivity or optimism, as I like to put it, because I feel like positivity, you know, there, there needs to be a balance to it. Optimism is a combination of good and bad. You know, you take the good with the bad and the bad with the good. Um, so having optimism as your strategy for everything 
that right there is vibrating on a high level because you're you're protecting yourself. You're not setting yourself up for failure. You're showing yourself the real deal, but at the same time, you're understanding, oh, they, okay, this may be the reality of the situation. It may not be a desirable outcome, but I can still win at the end of the day. I can still come out of this on top somehow, either spiritually, mentally, or physically, but it, in all three, if you want. You know, but it's all about you maximizing on that and, and seeking that out, vibrating at that level. And only a person who vibrates highly would think of the situation that way. When you're at your low vibration, this is how you can determine the difference between if you're vibrating on a high frequency versus if you're vibrating on a low frequency. Like I said, high vibrational beings, they see optimism as a strategy. They utilize optimism in every given situation. They take every situation for what it is and they transform it so that it works in their favor. No matter what the case may be, they always find a way to make it work in their favor, if not more than one way. Now, that's high vibration. Low vibration is somebody that sees every situation as a punishment, something that is breaking them down. They are losing in the situation. They give up. They believe in failure. They don't think they have options. They don't try to create any just because they don't see them. They don't want to see them because they're they're just so into the pessimism. Being pessimistic, you know what I mean? That is low vibration, depression, stress, anxiety, things like that. You have to understand that the world or the universe or God gives you exactly what you put out. You know, so if you put out low vibrations, you're going to continue to have a lack of abundance, you know, but if you put out high vibrations and I'm not saying you're going to get instant gratification from that, you're not going to get instant results. There's such a thing called consistency for a reason. You have to be consistent so that it can build. It has to be a gradual process. It's not, you can't just be abundant for one day uh, in mind and then expect your whole life to change into a millionaire situation that doesn't work like that that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about realism i'm talking about being realistic with yourself consistently for weeks on end for months on end for years on end dedicating your whole life to being abundant not just having an abundant week or month or year Oh, you see, you see the, the, the caller from yesterday, no call ID, they playing games with the morning show again. No, no, sir, no, ma'am. We are living abundant. And I hit the reject button because it's not abundant. Anyway, like I was saying, because they're trying to take away from the message. Um. <laughs> anyway, no. So like I was saying, you have to, Tandy, maybe lose my train of thought a little bit. You have to see every given situation for what it's worth and take something away from it um, and realize that, yeah, like I was saying, every day has to be your dedication to doing better. Every day has to be a dedication to finding out more, applying what you find out, feeling it, believing it, breathing it, eating it, even in your sleep, you're dreaming about it. That's how you live an abundant life. You want to live an abundant life? You have to see it, feel it, believe it. Yo, who is this no caller ID person? This is the second day in the row they doing this, though. I don't understand. I'm, boy, I hope they call after the show so I can answer and have some strong words. Anyway, so, yeah, sorry about that. Um, Like I was saying. Yes, you definitely want to make this a lifetime thing, not just a monthly thing. This is not something that we just do as a monthly goal, guys. This is not something that we do as a weekly goal. This is something that we do for life because we are trying to have good fortune in every aspect possible. And I'm not just talking about money. I'm talking about your mind, your body, your spirit, everything, every avenue of your life that you can think of, every platform that you can think of should give you abundance. You should be abundant in everything that you do. Every word out of your mouth. Understand that every word of your uh, your language is abundance. It speaks abundance because there's such a thing called positive affirmations. That right there, if you're trying to um, develop a sense of, of spirituality and you're trying to develop emotional abundance or mental abundance mindset, positive affirmations is a definite way to do that because 
is speaking nothing but positivity and i mean like reasonable positivity is it's speaking things that you truly believe because you you dedicate yourself to this on an individual basis this is something that you believe to be true so that you you speak it you act it you 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 know you'd walk the walk talk the talk and sometimes you got to fake it till you make it it's okay if you don't necessarily feel the positive affirmations right away the more you recite them to yourself the more it becomes solid to you and you feel more strong in what you're saying and what you're doing and you start to carry yourself that way I'm getting blown now. Blown down. My soul now. you know for instance I'm, I'm gonna go through a list um of of abundance um of, of phrases that you can use if you're trying to live an abundant life so here's a little guide to some uh, um affirmations of abundance that you can use if you're not certain of what i'm talking about so we have examples like, all of my thoughts are aligned with abundance. I have an abundance mindset. I love money and money loves me. Money flows freely to me. I'm open to receiving all of the wealth life offers me. My finances improve beyond my dreams. I am open to receiving limitless abundance. There is always more than enough money in my life. And I know this one is, is heavily invested with money, but you know, let's be real. We're millennials. So I have to cater to that, that side of it. Cause a lot of people, especially in Corona season, we're really trying to get our income. So I'm not knocking you. We're all on the same page. So we trying to either grind for ourselves, grind for our family. So let's get this abundance in here. Okay. So I am open to receiving limitless abundance. There is always more than enough money in my life. Money expands my life opportunities and experiences. I live in a state of complete abundance. My actions create constant prosperity. I welcome abundance into my life now. I am prosperous. I am living abundant life. I li I'm living an abundant life. So things like that, you know, if just are some examples of, you know, levels that you can take it to, you know, it doesn't always have to be solely based on the money, like I said. But I know that a lot of people are struggling with that right now, or I shouldn't say struggling, are dealing with money situations right now. So I just wanted to, you know, put some out there that cater to you on that level. Um, because, of course, the, the, the top list of, of, of abundant requests is income. Let's just be honest. Okay. So let's not knock anybody for that. Let's not look down on anyone for that. Good morning. Good morning. Shout out to the gang. You know what I mean? It, it is what it is. Like, there's no shame in it. We all need it to survive. We all need it to, to be who we want to be. You need money in order to live your dreams. You know, you need money in order to live the life you want to live and be who you want to be and showcase yourself the way that you need to and, and the way that you should. So I'm not opposed to that. But just understand that it's not everything. You know, money is not going to guarantee you happiness or anything for that matter, because you can have all the money in the world. If you don't know what to do with it, it's not going to go anywhere, you know, so you still have to be abundant in your mindset in the process of having money or making money or coming into money, however you want to look at it. Your mindset still has to play a huge part in no matter what else you're doing. doesn't matter what else you got going on, relationships, all of that. Whatever your abundance is, you still have to have the right mindset so that you know how to keep, how to maintain that abundance. It's, it's one thing, and that's, that's what humanity deals with every day. Every human being on this earth deals with that challenge of, you know, receiving blessings, you know, having the best opportunities handed to, not handed, I shouldn't say handed, presented to them, given to them, whatever Handed just makes it, I don't know, I don't like the way it sounds, but essentially the same thing. Handed to them, no. But stepping into your abundance, you know, knowing how to approach it the right way, how to have the right language, how to maintain it, like I said, and the only way to maintain anything is to, to nurture it, to take care of it, to put the right amount of energy, the right amount of time, the right amount of, of just effort into what you're doing. You can't just, excuse my language, half-ass your life of abundance. You can't. You know, you have to take this seriously. This has to be the most serious mission you've ever embarked on, the most serious journey you've ever embarked on. This can't be something, you know, that you do some of the time in your spare time. This is not a hobby. This is something we're serious about. We're trying to manifest. If you're taking manifestation seriously, you have to make this a, a daily ritual. This has to be, if not the entire day, 
you know, of you speaking this and, and doing it and, and feeling it and just exuding that in every way possible so that you can keep that energy coming in. It's one thing to obtain wealth, but it's an entire different monster to maintain it. You know what I mean? Anybody can get rich, but can you stay rich? That's the goal. Anybody can be a millionaire, but can you not only take that million, but turn it into billions? You know what I mean? Can you show other people how to be a millionaire? You know, there's so many different things that we have to take into consideration. Like just because you cross the finish line. And that's why I've always said since the beginning, it's not about just getting to the finish line. It's about crossing the finish line and going higher, doing more, striving for better. It doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop just because you've reached your destination as you perceive it to be your final destination. It's never the final destination. We're never truly done with ourselves. We're never truly done with life. Life goes on. We might reach one goal, but then there's many other goals to tackle. Just because you knock one out don't mean the rest of your life is done. No. Just because you, let's say you you do reach your goal, which you will. We all will if that's something you strive for. Let's say you do become an entrepreneur. Okay. I'm sure you want to do more than just that. You know what I mean? It doesn't stop there. What else are you going to do? You know? So really play your cards right, you know? Especially when God blesses you, really play it smart. You know, be smart about everything that you do. Be smart with the, the things that you invest in, the time that you invest in things. Um, and, and just make sure that it, it makes sense. And you're not just wandering aimlessly through life hoping for the best because that's not going to give you the abundant mind that you're looking for. That's not going to give you the abundant experiences that you crave. You know, the only way to get this is to, like I said, walk the walk, talk the talk, have that energy, you know, so practice it as much as you can. But um, I, I, I was discussing having an abundant mind, you know, so basically having the ability to perceive and understand things for what they're worth and and being open to different perspectives and looking at everything with a worldly perspective. You know, and not having limitations. Only you set limitations for yourself. Nobody else does that to you. I hope you all know that, right? People can say different things, but that doesn't mean that they set the limit for you. Only you can solidify the, the, the limit. You know what I mean? Once you give power to it, like let's say, all right, I'm going to give you a very blunt example. Okay, so let's say you, you've you always gotten good good grades in school. You've always done really well. You've excelled in your education since you were a kid. And you, you've always been the top of your class, you know, always gotten scholarships and all that amazing, like, blessings from it because you're just, you're very intellectual. And then let's say, all right, in your adult years, you are on this job and you come across a boss that you really despise because the boss is always calling you stupid. You know what I mean? Your manager or whatever. They're always putting you down, always saying you're stupid and you don't know anything and you're never going to be anything because you're the reason why the company is the way it is because you're just so stupid, blah, blah, blah. Are you going to actually look at that and say that, oh my gosh, I'm stupid when you've had all of this success and how do you think you got the job? You know what I mean? Like, look at your resume. Like, you're really going to look at your resume since a kid and tell me that just because your manager or whoever your supervisor whatever the case may be calls you stupid that you are stupid from then on and you are going to take away from your intelligence from then on so you're going to solidify those thoughts and believe that you're stupid come on now no you're not you're going to say one one thought one person one perspective that does not change the way the world views you. That does not change how proud of your, your parents were of you, your friends, whatever the case may be. That does not take away from your level of success. That is one person. They are. They have many perspectives, but frankly, who cares? If it's not something positive, do not absorb it. Do not tolerate that. That is disrespectful to yourself. Good morning, good morning. Shout out to the game. You know what I mean? So let's be real. You know, it's the same thing with limitations. Like that right there would be you then setting the limit. I'm getting blown now. 
Hi, I'm Jamie from the We So Fly Morning Show. Please be sure to tune in every day at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to get your daily dose of positivity and motivation. So today, guys, we talked about how to live an abundant life. Abundance starts with the state of mind. First, you must be rich in your mind before you can do anything else. We shouldn't worry about external means if internally we aren't set right. You know, that's like going backwards. We definitely want to move forward and not backwards. So we want to take care of the way that we think, the way that we feel, and the way that we act first so that we can receive abundance the way that we're supposed to. Be the energy that you want to see. You know, be the ideal person that you like to have in your life. You know, have a vision and go after it and do the right steps, do the hard work, do whatever it requires for you to be successful. That's what abundance is all about. Doing the steps that no one else wants to do, nine chances out of ten. A lot of people are not going to go the extra mile, but if you are, then you're going to live the most abundant life possible. But you must first enrich your mindset, you know, have the right morals and values, have the right standard of living for yourself, figure out your purpose and stand true to who you are and stand strong in who you are. And that way you can be rewarded by the universe or a higher source, God, whatever that source may be for you. It's just always good to have a clear mindset, you know, a clear state of mind and be optimistic as optimistic as possible you know realistic but mostly positive seeing the good outweighing the bad with the good you know making sure that you maintain your lifestyle making sure that you understand what's important versus what can wait you know all of these things play a huge part in how abundant we can be and how abundant we may feel you know so don't overlook the blessings that you already possess within your life you know they're there you just have to look at them for what they're worth and see the worth in them first of all you know, understand that you are worth more than you could ever imagine. You are worth everything. You can get whatever you deserve, whatever you desire. Only you call the shots and limitations. We are all going to live an abundant life. We are all abundant um, in mind, body, and spirit. So I just want to thank every single one of you for subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't done so, please be sure to do so. Click that subscription button and hit that notification bell so that you're notified of every time we have a new upload. And please leave us some feedback in the comments on what you think of the show so far. Any suggestions, concerns, questions, anything you may have. We definitely want to hear from you. But until then, I'll see you next time. Stay blessed and stay safe. I'll see you around. Bye. I'm getting blown now. No